Far North Queensland is staring down the barrel of the worst flooding seen on record. It's in the wake of ex-tropical cyclone Jasper. Cairns has seen upwards of areas such as the Daintree falls above 600 millimetres. Roads have been turned into rivers, rivers into rapids. A number of evacuations have taken place in suburbs such as Holloway's Beach, Caravonica, Red Lynch as well, after homes were inundated by rising river levels. Drinking water supplies at critical lows across Cairns as well. It's prompting authorities to issue a warning to locals, advising them to only use water for emergency use. The Prime Minister says the Defence Force has been dispersed to assist those who are in danger. He's also announced immediate financial support for victims and local councils. The Defence Force is not just uh, the people uh, around Cairns City. Uh, it's gone to, of course, the Tablelands and uh, south to Tully and up into Cape York as well. And, of course, many of those communities will be very difficult uh, to get to, which is why the ADF assets uh, will be important in, in reaching those people and those communities. That flood emergency is wreaking havoc. Essentially, this weather system after the cyclone, I thought it would keep moving inland. It's just stuck there. Rain is causing this havoc. Thousands of residents evacuated already. It's the biggest flood event recorded in the area. Lauren Forbes joins us from QFES headquarters. Lauren, roads there, just uh, essentially rivers right now, so a lot of areas cut off. Yes, Tom, five days of torrential rain ha in the region has turned roads into rivers and cut off some areas surrounding Cairns just days after ex-tropical cyclone Jasper made landfall. Now, some areas copped up to 400 millimetres of rain within a six-hour period on Sunday, and that's on top of half a metre of rain on Saturday. And there's also more rain on the cards for today with uh, six hourly totals of up to 300 millimetres forecast north, uh, for north of Cairns yeah. from Port Douglas to Lovedale. And there has been major flooding occurring there in that region, uh, just at Daintree River, uh, in the Daintree River, rather, at Daintree Village, with that river uh, reaching a record 14.85 metres in height, which and it is now still sitting at 14.25 metres. Now, all roads heading into Cairns from north, south and west have been completely cut off from these floods, as well as Cairns Airport closing for arrivals and departures after being completely inundated by rain. Now, there are multiple emergency and evacuation orders in place. They've evacuated people out of uh, Machen's Beach and Holloway's Beach uh, last night. All of those that wanted to go have been evacuated uh, because we are expecting um, a repeat of yesterday, which uh, uh, is unknown at this stage because we've got a lot of water coming down from the Tablelands that's going to reach the coast today. Now, Cairns-based uh, ADF personnel are assisting uh, with those evacuation orders and for those communities that are quite isolated further north from Cairns. Uh, now, the former deputy... The, sorry, rather, the, uh, the acting and the current uh, Deputy Premier Cameron Dick says that this uh, disaster and flooding event will come at a huge blow for the local economy for far north Queensland. This is going to be a big blow uh, to the far north. It's going to be a big blow to the economy uh, and to families and individuals. Uh, we know that big flooding event in Townsville a couple of years ago. That caused a billion dollars in damage just to property alone. Uh, but I'm not really worried about the money. Uh, I don't have any concern about the money today. Tom, more than 10,000 people in far north Queensland have been completely cut off from power. And that includes at least 4,500 who have been had no electricity since ex-tropical uh, cyclone Jasper made landfall uh, on Wednesday last week. Now, BOM has warned that there are no signs of an easing trend for today, which means that that torrential rain will continue falling down all the way until Tuesday. Lauren, thank you. We'll talk live as well as possible. Cairns Airport, shut now. How long will it be? So